Hey guys, Chris Fix here with Chris from Blue Driver. Today we're working on a 2004 F-150 with a 5.4 liter V8. We're having some problems with a bit of a misfire. There's an ignition coil code, so we're gonna see if we can figure out what's going on. So let's go in the car and go scan it. So when we scan the computer, you can see we have an ignition coil A fault code, a P0351, and that's why it's running so horribly. And if we click on the code, it'll let us know our top reported fixes and you can see the top two reported fixes are replace the coil on plug or replace the spark plug. The spark plugs are new, so it's probably a bad coil. And now to figure out if the coil is bad, what we could do, we could swap out the coil from coil A and coil B and see if that check engine light follows. So we can see if that misfire follows from cylinder one to cylinder two. So with this code, in order to verify it's actually a coil that's bad and that's the correct coil that's bad, is just take the, the coil you think is bad and swap it out with another coil. Just move it. And if you see the code change position, so from A to B, you know, okay, that coil is definitely bad. And in this case, that's what we did, and we know it's bad, so Chris is gonna go replace it. Start things off by unclipping the ignition coil. Each coil has one connector on the back here. There's a tab that you press on that faces the rear of the truck. You squeeze in with your fingernail at the top and you kind of pull up and wiggle to get it off. Now we've got a 7 millimeter socket on a 3 8 inch extension. There's one bolt holding each coil down and it's at the front of the coil facing the front of the truck. So for this coil here we're using this long extension. You can use the long extension for the next coil back and the front three on the other side. The last two on this side and the last one on that side, you might need a shorter extension, one about this long, because you're going to be coming up with some clearance issues against the bulkhead on the back. There's our bolt. Now we just grab on the top of the ignition coil, wiggle a little bit and pull up. It should pop right out. All right, now we got our new coil. Just slide it in there. Connector facing back. Pull for the bolt facing forward. Now we'll bolt it down. Now we're going to torque that to 53 inch-pounds. Plug in the connector, tab facing back, and that's it, we're done. Let's give it a shot and see how it works. So if we hit read codes, check engine light codes, and there are no codes at all. We did clear them, but it didn't come back, which is good, so we solved the problem. Sounds like it's running a lot better now. So that was a pretty easy fix. We got rid of that misfire. We have a couple more fixes coming up like this for this truck. Uh, if you wanna see them, subscribe to our channel, like this video. If you've got any repairs that you'd like to see, leave a comment below. And uh, until next time, fear no fix.